Wait, how Lights, you doing? <laughs> camera. Action. What's so going on, guys? I'm Sugar Bear. And I'm Jake. Wait a minute. Nope. Good. Go, <laughs> switch, go this way. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. So, uh, what are we drinking today, Jake? Johnny Walker 18. Ah, Johnny Walker. Keep on walking. Hell As you yeah. can see, we got into it a little bit. Uh, these are really drink, like, overly drinkable, I would say. Like, inhalable. Uh, and that's how they're blended to be. Yeah, that's the whole point of blends in general, really, is how, how do we appeal to more palates mm -hmm. as opposed to, like, a single malt, which is aims at, like, a certain area of the flavor spectrum, mm -hmm. you know? So, uh, comes in at, what's the proof on this? Uh, I think it's just a 40. Yeah, 40%. 40 proof, or 40 percent, 80 proof, pretty standard for Johnny Walkers. Um, it's made by Diageo, who we've mentioned a few times doing other single malt reviews. Um, they own like 30 Scottish distilleries, and all the Johnny Walker blends are just different proportions of those. There's a couple they own that actually don't go into Johnny Walker at all, like Oban, apparently. Oh, okay. Doesn't get used for any blends. It's purely for single malt. Okay, I didn't malt. know that. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, it's like the only one, though. Mm -hmm. I think every other Diageo distillery. At some, it go, it, at some point, it's going yeah. into Johnny Walker. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, 18 years old. Probably some color added to it because all the Diageo Guarantee distilleries, it. <laughs> yeah, they if all they don't add say, color. If they don't say that they they don't add it, then they do. Yeah, exactly. On the nose, ooh, creamy honey, like a bowl oh, yeah. of oatmeal with honey in it. Mm -hmm. Lots of honey. Not really detecting smoke on the on the nose. Ah, oh, that's so smooth. That's mm -hmm. so insanely mm -hmm. smooth. Like that's that's, that's the what problem. they do best. That's the problem with these, is you will find yourself just drinking an entire bottle of this like that. Mm -hmm. Like this is a oh, there is smoke in there. There is at the finish. It shows up late. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's late to the party. Uh, and I would assume that's either they're probably Lagavulin oh, or. Talisker, those are pretty popular. Cole Isla yeah, is also, Cali, that's yeah. that's where they tend to get a lot of their, their peated malt mm -hmm. from, because that's that's the largest Isla distillery. Yeah, it's funny, okay, so it doesn't smell smoky till you take a sip of it, and mm -hmm. now I can smell smoke in it. Mm -hmm. That's just because my palate is just saturated mm -hmm. with it. It's not like a crazily peaty, smoky whiskey. No. But it's there. Mm -hmm. That's true with really all Johnny Walkers. I'd say they all have Double Black is the only smoke. one that's a little, a little, little, heavy, a little extra. E yeah. Even then, it's still not too it's much. It's not quite like a, like an Isla malt. It's, it's close. It's mostly Isla malt, mm -hmm. I would imagine. But that's the whole point of them blending, is they can get, they can get those notes without it being too much. Because most people wouldn't really, you know, the average person wouldn't exactly. really be down. They're for trying that much to appeal smoke. to the the largest possible market. That's kind of the point of these blends. Um, oh, I mean, who wouldn't love this? You know, like this is a way too drinkable. Mm -hmm. Very rich, very good mouthfeel. It's not thin, even though it's only eighty proof. It's definitely not like thin or watery yeah, by any means. Absolutely. It's got a long finish. Um, being eight, you know, being an eighteen year, that means every malt that went into this was at least eighteen years or older. Nothing can be younger than that. Mm -hmm. Is it all malt, or does it say there's? No, this is this has got grain. There's in a it. hint of hint of grain. I wouldn't know. I think to be uh, honest, Green Label and then the Jane Walker are the only ones that they have just blended malt. The Blue Label, I thought was. No, that's a that's that's there's grain whiskey in that. What? <laughs> no way. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll find out in a bit. Uh, yeah, they only have. That's two, nuts. From what I know, that they only have. I want to say two whiskeys that are blended malt. Really? Yeah. I would think that. I would think that blue label would be. You all would malt, think because green labels all yeah. malt. Huh. Yeah. Weird. I, I'm not sure why, why they made that decision for specifically green label, but yeah, it works in this. Like yeah. I can't tell there's green no. whiskey in this. It just tastes like a good, good blended malt. Yeah, there's there's some brininess. There's some some ash. Mm-hmm. Very much in the back of the palate, though. Yeah. I'm trying to describe the front end of the palate. It's really just honey. Mm hmm Honey with, like, creamy honey. Yeah. It's nice. Maybe almonds. Yeah, maybe a little bit. A little bit of, not super nutty, but yeah, maybe no. a little bit like marzipan. Yeah. yeah. Um, not a lot of, like, sherry, though. No, not at all. I, wouldn't say, I would say it's mostly, like, bourbon barrel stuff. Yeah. I would imagine. There's probably a, 
a little bit of sherry in just there, enough but not enough to get those like deep like raisiny plum notes mm -hmm. um it's really nice though what's the price point on this shoot i think between i can can't remember i think between 80 and 100 somewhere that sounds right i'm pretty sure i've seen it in that range. you yeah, might find it say, for 80 but yeah 80 to 100 not really not really a budget whiskey no um that's a special but a nice occasion. whiskey yeah no this is this would make a great gift for someone you know that maybe isn't super into scotch whiskey mm -hmm. but like starting to get into it they'll be super impressed by mm -hmm. this um just the drinkability here is like a 10 out of 10 pretty mm -hmm. much like this is as easy to drink as anything we've ever reviewed mm -hmm. um delicious really um yeah i don't know any other nope anything else we should say about this <laughs> nope. yeah i don't know i'm not a huge johnny walker fan usually but uh i mean i like them yeah but i i i feel like they take all these amazing malts that are so good on their own they blend them together. It's like, yeah. it's a bit much sometimes. It's like, these, you know. And sometimes you kind of lose some of the flavor. Sometimes they work, though. Yeah. I mean, like, it depends. For me, it's a price thing. If a blend... Is going to cost more than a nice single malt. Than a nice... Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to go with the single malt. But if it's the other way around, I might consider the blend. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, this is good. I, I would maybe buy this, actually. This is this is that good. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like it. It's good. Make a good gift for somebody. Seriously, buy this. Mm -hmm. Buy this for someone. They'll be happy with it. Um, we're yeah, we're Whiskey Dixon. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know if there's any other Johnny Walkers you want to see us re review. We'll be reviewing more Johnny yeah. Walker. Um, Sugar Bear. Jake. Till next time. Cheers, Slancha. Merry Christmas. Keep on drinking. That was a good tank. Keep on walking. <laughs>